What's up, everybody? It's your good friend, Lukey, and I am back. Been working a lot lately. And guess what? I have no confidence with my driver currently. I'm swinging it about as awful as I have since maybe I was a, I don't know, like middle schooler before I quit playing golf until I was like in my mid-20s and then I quit again until I was in my mid-30s. So this is Table Mountain Golf Club in Oroville, California. I read a Google review that said this course had really wide fairways. For how bad I'm hitting my driver, it did not feel like these were wide fairways. This first hole is probably going really, really quick, but it's just a slight dog leg right, hit a decent drive, hit a pretty bad wedge in, missed it to the left, didn't know the speed of the greens, and then walk away at the bogey. Bogey is always a good score. It's just I have irrational beliefs that I'll do better. Once again, another feature of this course, kind of, in my opinion, I'd use the word narrow, like narrow tree-lined fairways that you can hit into other fairways that are forgiving. I tried to hit the mega the mega slice, hit the mega pull, absolutely bomb my three-wood. My three-wood has been atrocious lately, but it seems like on this given day, maybe my three-wood's back. Wedge game was actually kind of stellar towards the end of the round. I went to an LPGA event, saw Anna Norquist hit a wedge. Tried to copy it, and maybe copying pros actually works. Had this for birdie on this par 5, kind of a shorter par 5. Didn't really give it the most honest of efforts, but walked away with a par. Par is always a good score. Take 18 of those. I've only had that a couple of times, and it's happened so infrequently, I frame it and put it on my wall when it does happen. Third hole is probably the best hole on the golf course. Why is that? Kind of like a postage stamp green that's surrounded by a moat. Hit a nine iron here. Barely missed the green. That's the postage stamp. That's kind of the water. And then you have one of these unique little bridges. I love these aspects of golf courses in general. The Like the unique quirk. And uh, here we go. Here's my shot. I really tried to chip this in because I liked the way this hole looked. Should always try to chip things in, but did on this day little up and down par probably my best driver swing of the day really I think I'm turning into like super insecure about my golf swing so sorry for those that wanted to see golf course um, things just becoming neurotic about the swing kind of a straightforward long par four or a long by a normal golfer standard which means over 400 yards not the best wedge hit a moon ball wedge that ended up in this bunker and this was just airmail that was US Express US Postal over the green hit a decent chip back though it's the super the super 10 millimeter lens where you're not gonna see everything in frame but I am really proud of this putt and this these greens I will say this because I made a lot of putts on this day really good greens really fun course like i would not be mad if i lived close to this course and played this course like a lot because it really reminds me of like arbuckle these small town california northern towns that kind of feel like texas that have a lot of pride uh, this hole i was hitting once again kind of stock uh, table mountain hole you hit a fairway then you're hitting towards the green i looked at the green from the par three and I didn't look at the real hole, the real pin. So my miss wasn't as big as you probably think the miss is. I was aiming at the wrong pin because I didn't really pay attention enough to see where the pin was. But Drano got the par. Really proud of that. But what I was going to say is, also, if you like playing fast, this course is probably one of the best to do that because it feels like everyone here can play golf to a certain degree. And for sure, everyone plays um, very fast. So here we go. Next hole. Missed a little bit outright with driver. One, I know this for a fact. 191 in, 6 iron. And I hit a really good 6 iron to this point. I'm really, really proud that I can loft a 6 iron the way I did and get it to stop. And once again, just didn't quite get that to the hole. A little disappointing, especially with the way some of these holes later went. Kind of a tricky, seventh is kind of a tricky par three. You're not going to see it, but on the right-hand side's water. On the left-hand side probably used to be water, and then they had to drain it for whatever reasons. 
Once again, I bring the pace of play. Someone was kind of squeezing me, and I play fast, so worst angle ever to give you. Hit um, hit a pretty decent chip, but it just was kind of like it had a lot of mustard because I was really trying to not fluff it. When you don't want to fluff a chip, you hit it too hard and walked away with kind of a sloppy four on that par three. This was kind of a what I've been struggling with in golf right now is like the big right miss right now went a long ways but it went it was not anywhere near the fairway had a nine iron in and then this is just a like the way this is filmed kind of explains to you where my mind was big miss lazy nine iron that had no real aim sloppy chip and then just a whatever putt that leads to a five now i'm happy it's a five but that was a slew of shots that I never even treated as an individual shot or an individual score. So, you know, take it for what you want. Number nine, I love probably because of the result, but this is a dog leg left where you can really bite off a lot more than you want. I got lucky and tugged on one trying to hit the mega cut and ended up into a par five hitting a nine iron, which is crazy. 151 nine iron hooked it around those trees, acted like I'm a big shot. It actually went over the green because the wind was with me, not because I hit a 9-iron 151. Hit a 9-iron kind of hot, shaped it, and then birdie right here. And that's a really, really good feeling. So golf will do that to you. Now, this was really, really disappointing. Number 10, huge fairway. The only place you can't go is left, so you know I'm going left. And that's kind of like been my issue right now and why I've been a little insecure about filming my swing is I hate having the two-way miss, you know, because when you have two-way miss, you're doing a lot. Hit a tree right there, which is super bummer city, and pretty proud of this pitch. You know, working on that pitch, watching Anna Norquist hit darts at the International Crown, really, really motivating. Once again, these greens are really, really good. So, like, once you get around the greens, it's pretty fun. Sometimes maybe working your way to the green, it feels kind of like a driving range golf. Look at the big guy wiping the sweat off of his brow. Love to see it. So I thought this was going to be a really, really bad shot. It turns out I actually cut off some of the corner and kind of cheated the hole. Kind of hit the big right miss. Hit an eight iron there. And left myself about, I think, 125 into the wind. I remember I pulled pitching wedge. Nice, smooth swing. Really lofted that well. When that came off the face, I'm like, wow, that's higher than I usually can get a pitching wedge and loved the result. Hole high. Didn't have the courage to go right at the hole, so I, I was a little left, but I think that's the maturation process for all golfers is to learn that you don't have to go at every single pin. Hate to see that it didn't drop, but, you know, I'll take that. Look at this middle America looking hole. We got a water tower in the back. We got a couple of bunkers. Doesn't this look like the golf course you kind of wish that you grew up playing? Like, this is why I go to these weird courses or these off the beaten track courses. You can kind of feel generations of people's stories and the meaning behind their lives in this course. It's pretty cool. And this hole kind of embodied it to me. So, hit the gap wedge didn't film the chip very well but got par this was the another so three straight mega left balls and honestly this course probably isn't the hardest course if you can hit a driver i just can't hit a driver right now and i didn't try the three wood so you know catastrophe off the tee you guys never saw the fairway or any of the shape structure of that had to kind of manufacture a chip it was kind of a weird uphill chip so there it is par five the par fives here for some reason typically i'm atrocious at par fives lately par fives here were my get back gang so if anyone's a member of get back gang that was me on the par fives and tell them i said it that one that three wood was lukey in this in the cut is a scary sight that's that old feeling that we saw and now mr 58 was looking kind of deadly right here Look at that, looking like the male version of Anna Norquist, but like seven inches smaller in terms of height, probably in terms of a lot of, a lot of physical capabilities and elite attributes. But you know what? Like Anna Norquist, I got a birdie, bro. I got a birdie. Two birdies, who am I? 
Well, I'm a Lukey. This is another straightaway, a straightaway hole. Just hit a couple of straight shots. You know, fluffed a gap wedge because I'm horrible sometimes. Really working on trying to get these little wedges dialed in. You know, even if I'm not comfortable with the swings, try different things because sometimes what I'm doing isn't good. And dropped it for par. Look at that. Love the water tower in the back. I feel like I'm in Amarillo, Texas or something. Love to see it, but I'm in Oroville, near the Oroville Dam, might I add. It's par three, really tricky. That tree comes into play more than you would think. Hit a moon ball, nine iron, and not filmed the best, but I actually love this. Here we go, birdie number three. Look at that, coming off the face hot, chips it in. Young man, you deserve a drink. And guess what he gets for his drink? A shot that he hits out of play, that he has nowhere of finding, doesn't know where it is. Super hot, super tired. It's a white steak. Totally am not going to hit it from the tee box again because I don't care that much. Hit a terrible shot. This is like the number two handicap. And then I hit this filthy wedge. Uh, this is just deadly. That's get back gang right there. That's that GBG. Right to there. That's a five. That's a big boy five. And then 18. Kind of a lot like Arbuckle, right? Where it's... You hit a tee shot and then you're hitting up up a hill, but I hit it. I hit right behind this tree because I'm just like doing something awful. So pretty kind of easy finishing hole I made into not an easy finishing hole, which is always a really good feeling. I think that's probably actually one of the best feelings in life. And try to take something off sand wedge. I had 85 yards in. Little uphill, little wind with me, and somehow that went all the way to the back of the green. Not really sure how that happened, but we'll accept it. Hit the putt, putt came up short, and you better believe I'm going to three putt this because that is how we have to finish it. If you're near Table Mountain Golf Club, I honestly think it's pretty fun. Affordable prices, the, there's a good community, and they're really proud of this course. You know, give it a look if you want to go play somewhere fun. And by the way, I'm Lukey. I'm very charismatic. I got lots of personality. And you should totally subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to get to 1K subscribers so I can get a little bit of broccoli. Broccoli is what we call money. So then I can make a little bit of broccoli, that's money, off of this channel and do some neat things in the future. It's Lukey.